Welcome to your Passionate Penny Pincher digital planner tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to download and set up your digital planner onto your iPad using GoodNote 6. Once we're in the app, I'm going to walk you through some basic tools to help you get going on your digital planner journey. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is save our files onto our iPad. You're going to open up the email that you received from Passionate Penny Pincher. Once you have your file open, you're going to scroll down to where it says download files. Here, we're going to download each item onto our iPad. I'm going to start by clicking on the digital planner. And once my file is open, I'm going to go up to the upper right hand corner of my screen where there's a box with an arrow pointing up. Select it and you will get this pop up menu. Scroll down to where it says save to files or save to Dropbox. Here you can choose wherever you'd like to save it. I'm going to go with Save to Dropbox. I've already created a folder that says PPP Planner, so I will then select Upload. Once my file is saved, I can hit the X button and download the rest of my files. Once we're back in our email, we're going to go ahead and select the GoodNotes sticker book. Click on it. And as you may notice, no preview appears here. That's because you're downloading a GoodNotes file. What you may notice is at the bottom of your screen, there is a bar that says download on it. Go ahead and select that. And that will change into open in. Select that again. And here your pop-up menu will appear. Go back to where you saved your previous file. And here I'm going to select upload. With my file saved, I'm going to X out of here and download my final file. I'm back in my email and I'm going to select my final file, the blank sticker book. And because this is a PDF, you will see a preview of your file. Go up to the upper right hand corner where you see your box and your arrow and repeat the same steps that we did before. Now that we have our files saved onto our iPad, let's go ahead and import them into GoodNotes. I'm going to open up the app. Here, I'm going to select this rectangle that says New. Once this pop-up menu appears, I'm going to scroll down to Import. And in this menu, I'm going to locate where I saved my files. Once you've located them, select each item and click on the Open button on the upper right-hand corner. Let's take a tour inside of our planner and learn some of the essential tools that you'll need to get started with planning. With our planner open, I can use my finger to scrub through the pages of the planner. If I want to jump to a particular section of the planner, I can use the tabs that are all around the planner to jump to any section. For example, I can select bill payment and be taken straight to that spread. Now let's go over some of the basic tools inside of the app. If you look above your planner, you're going to see a pencil icon with a scribble on it. When you click on it, another toolbar appears below it. The first tool on the list is your pen tool. When you click on it, you'll see a pop-up menu appear with three options for pens. Each pen has its own set of settings for you to adjust. With the pen tool selected, You'll also notice that the end of your menu bar changes. Here, you can change the thickness of your stroke and the color of your ink. With my Apple Pencil, I can then just write straight onto my planner. If I want to change the color and the thickness, I can change it as well. The next tool is the Eraser tool. When you click on it, a menu will appear with options of the type of eraser you want to use and some other settings below. With this tool selected, you'll also see that the end of your menu changes with three circles of different sizes. This will allow you to choose how large you want your eraser to be. With my Apple Pencil, I can then go ahead and erase what I wrote directly on my planner. The next tool is the highlighter tool. Here, you can choose whether to automatically draw a straight line or freehand. With the highlighter tool selected, you'll see once again the end of your menu bar changes. Here, you choose the thickness of your highlighter and your color. Once I've made my selection, I can highlight over any words that I want. 
If I accidentally make a mistake, and let's say I don't want this Gaspel word highlighted, I can go back to my eraser and select on Erase Highlighter Only. With that option selected, I can go back to my word and only erase the highlighter. The next tool is the tape tool. With this tool selected, you'll see that your options at the end of your bar change. You can change the thickness of your tape and also the color. With my pen tool, I can create a tape line wherever I want on my planner. Because I have straight line selected, when I release my line, it'll automatically create a straight line. If I want to remove these lines, I can go back to my eraser, deselect highlighter and erase tape only. With that option selected, I can use my pencil and just erase the tape lines. You'll notice when I go over the gas or the highlighter, nothing happens. The next tool is the shape tool. Here, you can create different shapes freehand with your pencil and when you release, they will become solid. You can also change the thickness and the color from here as well. The next tool is the lasso tool. You'll see that there's different options here, but when this tool is selected, you can use your pencil to lasso an item and move it to another part of your planner. Now let's say I decorated this page, but I don't like what I did and want to start from scratch. Instead of going to the eraser tool and hand erasing everything, I can scroll down to the bottom and clear page. When you click on that, you have a fresh page to work with. Before I show you the next tool, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to a monthly spread. You'll notice that when I click on the tab, it doesn't work. That's because we are in the editing mode. In order to make use of our tabs, we have to go back up to our pencil icon and click on it. When the tools hide, my tabs are accessible again. Now I can click on my month and be taken to my spread. When we're ready to edit again, I just go back up to the pencil tool and select it and my menu bar appears again. The next tool on the list is the elements tool. In this tool, you can easily save your favorite stickers that you like to reuse over and over again and have them easily accessible within the app. Let me show you how it works. First, I'm gonna go up to the left-hand corner of my screen and select the home button. Here, I'm gonna open up the GoodNotes sticker book that we downloaded earlier. With our sticker book open, I'm gonna scroll to the page where all our passionate penny pincher stickers are. There are two ways that you can use stickers for your planner. The first is to select a sticker and you'll see that a dotted line appears around it. I'm going to select and hold on to that again and a little pop-up menu will appear across the top. I'm going to select copy. I'm then going to jump to my planner. Anywhere on my page, I'm going to hold down again until my menu pops up and select paste. Once I do that, you'll see that our sticker appears. This little button on the side allows you to change the size or rotate your sticker in whatever direction you want. By clicking in the middle of it, I can drag it to wherever I want on my planner. Now I'm gonna go back to my digital sticker book and here I'm gonna show you how to save your favorite stickers into the elements folder. I'm gonna do the same thing and select a sticker I'm going to see the little dotted line appear around it and select again on it. This time, when our pop-up menu appears, I'm going to go to the little arrow at the end, select it, and choose Add Element. When you click on that, a pop-up menu will appear, and you will be able to choose a folder to save your sticker to or create a new collection. Here I have a sticker folder already created for my passionate penny pincher stickers, so I'm going to select it. Now my sticker is ready to use without the sticker book. Go back to your digital planner, select the elements icon, and here you'll see that my sticker is saved. When I click on it, it'll automatically be added to the spread that I'm working on. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use your blank sticker book from Passionate Penny Pincher. Go back up to the home icon and select it. 
Back in the Documents page, we're gonna go up here to New and select it. When the pop-up menu appears, scroll down to Import and locate any old passionate penny pincher stickers you still have. I'm gonna select my 2023 sticker zip file. When I select it, I'll go up to Open and GoodNotes will automatically unzip the file and create a folder with all my 2023 stickers in it. Once your folder is fully imported, you're going to select on it once and it will open up the folder. Here you'll see that I have all my 2023 stickers in them. Select your favorite one and open it. When you do this, you'll see an enlarged view of your sticker. Go up to your lasso tool and select it. Once I do that with my Apple Pencil, I'm going to roughly draw an outline around my sticker. When I do that, I'm gonna press with my finger and take screenshot will appear. Click on that. And when this little preview appears, you're gonna go up to the square with the arrow pointing up and select it. When you do this, a pop-up menu will appear and here you're going to select copy. After selecting copy, go back up to your blank sticker book. And once I'm here, I'm going to press on my screen. And when my pop-up menu appears, I'm going to select paste. Now the sticker will live inside of our blank sticker book. I can resize it and place it wherever I like. This is a great way to keep old digital stickers in one place and any ones you might find online. The next tool is the photos tool. If you have your photos linked to your GoodNotes, you will be able to use them directly within the app. Just click on an image and it will appear on your page. To edit the size, just go to the bottom icon and adjust it as needed. Click in the middle and drag it anywhere you want on your page. You can also use the camera icon to take pictures directly into GoodNotes. The next tool is the text tool. This allows you to type inside of your planner as you would in a Word document. I'm gonna click anywhere on my planner and when I do that, you will see that my keyboard appears. Here, I can type as usual. And the text appears on my screen. When I'm done typing, I just click on the keyboard with the arrow down button and my keyboard disappears. These four little dots that you see on top allows you to move your text around wherever you need to on your screen. I can also highlight my text. And if I go to the end of my toolbar, I can make it green, I can make it slightly bigger, and I can change my font. Now you see that all the settings have changed. If your text starts to look funny, you can toggle the little circle on the side and adjust accordingly. Also note that when you use the text tool, you can also write out your words instead of using the keypad. Just click on your screen and your text box will appear. Then you just start writing. Once you're finished, the words will appear inside the text box in the color, font, and size that you had chosen. A really great way to use the text box tool is to customize the tasks in your weekly spread. With our text tool still selected, I'm gonna click somewhere on my planner and I'm gonna type out a new task that I wanna add. With my text still selected, I'm gonna go up here to the end of my menu bar and make some changes to my text. First, I'm gonna lower the size of it. Then I'm gonna go here to this little box with a line across it and click on that. And here you'll see that you can add a text box to your text. I'm going to make it basic white and then I'm going to select on my advanced options. In here, you'll see that there's other options that you can play around with, but for right now, I'm gonna focus on the padding. I'm gonna lower it to about a one. Then I'm gonna go back to my text and move this over next to a checkbox. Once you've customized your weekly spread, a quick way to repeat this to the next week is to select on your task. When the pop-up menu appears, select copy. With your finger, scroll to your next week. And with your finger pressed on the screen, your pop-up menu will appear and you're gonna select paste. My text appears here. 
and I can move it to the same spot. Now let's move on to the next tool. The next tool is a magnifier tool. When you click on it, you see that this rectangle appears on your planner page. If I move it around, you'll see that the magnification at the bottom follows it. The next tool is the ruler tool. When you click on it, a ruler appears on your screen. This is really great for when you want to draw lines across sections of your planner like so. If I click on my highlighter tool, I can draw a line that goes across my ruler and keeps it straight. If I want to draw a diagonal line, I just use my two fingers to adjust my ruler and with my writing tool selected, I can draw a line across my planner pages. This is a really fun way to get creative with your planning using your digital planner. When you no longer need your ruler, just click on it again and it will disappear. The next tool is a laser tool. This is mostly for presentations, but just to show you what it does, it follows your Apple Pencil with a light beam. The other option is a laser stroke, which allows you to make longer lines that then disappear on your screen. The final tool is a timer tool that allows you to use timer or stopwatch. These are your basic tools that you'll be using inside of GoodNotes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it encourages you to get creative and have fun using your digital planner. <music>